all right so for this lecture we'll talk about work done by a variable force now we already have discussed that uh, for the case when we have just one object which is being acted by a force F and makes an angle theta with the x-axis such that it moves the object by a distance d the work done is f d cos theta but let's take a sp special case let's say you have this mass which is resting on a frictionless surface then if you apply let's say that you have this force f which is being applied to the to the block so that it moves say from now this is the x-axis let's say from x equals 0 to x equals d and this force itself is not constant it is changing as x is changing so as this block is moving forward this fx is changing so what is the work done by this kind of force well we can calculate that so let's say at some position of x the work uh, the force is fx now for this particular position if you let the mass move by a small distance dx we can assume that fx was sort of constant over this small distance dx so the small work done by the force in this small distance is fx dx just by using this formula now if we want to get to know the total amount of work we are going to integrate this from x 0 to x d by integration we mean we we add up all the small works so this is the standard formula uh, let's take an example let's say you have a spring and this spring uh, the property of the spring is that it, it's going to push away if you put a mass here this mass is going to be pushed away so let's say you start from this position this is the x-axis you start from this position x equals 0 and the, the spring was compressed and the mass reaches here and let's say it reaches up to 4 meters about 4 meters too high let's say 0.4 meters and uh, it's also given that force produced by the spring is, uh, if it's very much compressed it produces more force and as it starts losing up it produces less force it, it pushes less hard on the mass and let's say the force produced by the spring is 2 times x so here, um, well not 2 times x, but 2 times, let's say, 1 minus x. So when x is 0, the force produced by the spring is 2. When x is 0.4, the force produced by the spring is uh, 1.2, right? So force is more here and less here because spring has elongated. So this is the setup. The spring produces this kind of force, let's take it, and it moves the object from x equals 0 to x equals 0.4 meters. Then what is the work done by the spring to move this object from here to from here? Let's calculate that. Uh, so work done is going to be integration of x equals 0 to x equals 0.4. F is 2 1 minus x dx and if you do a small integration you will see this turns out to be 2x with the limits 
0 0.4 and the other part gives you x square 0 0.4 and that gives you 0.8 minus uh, 0.16 and this is nothing but 0.64 joules this is how you find the work done by a force which is variable in time just to explain the force produced by the spring is actually given as k x the k is the is called the spring constant of the spring so in this case you can see uh, the spring constant uh, the force uh, the spring constant is 2 i have set up the force in such a manner so that um, the force is maximum here and minimum here if you do not understand this that's all right you can just concentrate up to here so this is the force given uh, ready, uh, already and then this is the work done